Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled Comet CG Creates Its Dust Tail. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually the close up image of the nucleus of a comet. Now the nucleus of the comet is the solid portion of a comet. And we've been looking a lot at comet Neowise recently. And in that case, we cannot see the nucleus of the comet because it's buried within all of the material around it. In order to actually see the nucleus of a comet, we actually have to take a spacecraft that can fly up there and examine it up close. And that's what we're seeing here with Comet CG. And Comet CG, uh, as abbreviated from Comet cheryumov gerashmenko is a comet that was visited by the Rosetta spacecraft. And the Rosetta spacecraft orbited it for a couple of years uh, a little while ago, a few years ago, earlier in uh, this uh, century. So it actually orbited it and gave us a lot of up close images and allowed us to study a comet in great detail, really for the first time. Now, just yesterday, we looked at the tails of a comet Neowise. And here we get to see some of how the comet tail is actually created. And the comet tail comes from particles from the nucleus of the comet themselves. Now a comet spends most of its life out in the depths of the solar system as just a frozen solid body and doesn't do much. It's only when it comes in close to the sun and it gets heated up and vaporized. And you can see a lot of those streams of material where material is being vaporized off the surface. Now out in space, things don't melt. Things like water do not go from a solid to a liquid to a gas. They actually undergo a process called sublimation. And that means they go from a solid directly to a gas. So since there's no air pressure here to hold in liquid water, the water there just vaporizes and goes from solid ice on the nucleus into a gas around the nucleus of the comet. And that then material because of the comet's very low gravity is not held and begins to expand outward and eventually is pushed back by the pressure from the sun. So the radiation pressure from the sun can push that material back and create the great tails that we see. Now those tails would be while they look nice and solid as in our image from yesterday, they are not solid material. In fact, they're very diffuse material. And in fact, an incredibly good vacuum. So there's not a lot of material there. But there is uh, enough for us to be able to see it as it reflects. So it may look like there's a ton of material there when we look at the tail of a comet. But it's really very, very empty space. And we've learned a lot more about how comets work thanks to the Rosetta craft and its detailed study of the nucleus of this comet CG. So that was our picture of the day for July the 12th of 2020. It was titled Comet CG Creates Its Dust Tail. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Neowiser. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.